Oh, hi there. Welcome to the third part of our series on using CFX Maestro real-time PCR software. Today, we'll be going through how to create detailed, customized graphs from your QPCR data. This is by far the most fun feature to use within the software. I'll show you how to visualize and export your data so that you can use it for posters, presentations, or publications. So let's get it started now. I'll begin in the main gene expression data analysis and graphing tab. I've got the exact data I want to see, but now I'm going to customize how the data is displayed. First, I'll change the color by clicking on the color wheel. I can then choose a custom color from any one of the samples or biological groups. Once I do, this is immediately shown in the graph. I can also change the legends or title of the graph. I can click to edit the title and then change the font used. Now, I can also move the legend to the right side of the graph. If you'd like to call out what might be an important piece of data, you can also do that as well. To show you how, I'll add an arrow here and some text identifying what's important about this data. That looks great. I think I'm set and ready to export this graph. Since I want to use this image for a possible print publication, I'll export it at 300 dpi or dots per inch. I'll also make this image a little more square by editing the pixel dimension. And now, I'll save the file. That's it, I'm set. That covers it for our overview series on CFX Maestro software. I hope you found these tips useful and I wish you all the best with your real-time PCR experiments and with life.